This video is for educational purposes. Jerusalem is an ancient city in West Asia, on a plateau in the Judean mountains between the Mediterranean and the Dead Sea. It is one of the oldest cities in the world, and is considered holy to the three major Abrahamic religions, Judaism, Christianity, and Islam. Both Israelis and Palestinians claim Jerusalem as their capital, Israel maintains its primary governmental institutions there, and the state of Palestine ultimately foresees it as its seat of power. Neither claim, however, is widely recognized internationally. Kindly subscribe to this channel and share this video with your friends and families. Throughout its long history, Jerusalem has been destroyed at least twice, besieged 23 times, captured and recaptured 44 times, and attacked 52 times. The part of Jerusalem called the City of David shows first signs of settlement in the 4th millennium BCE, in the shape of encampments of nomadic shepherds. During the Canaanite period, 14th century BCE, Jerusalem was named as Jerusalem on ancient Egyptian tablets, probably meaning City of Shalem after a Canaanite deity. During the Israelite period, significant construction activity in Jerusalem began in the 10th century BCE, Iron Age II, and by the 9th century BCE, the city had developed into the religious and administrative center of the Kingdom of Judah. In 1538, the city walls were rebuilt for a last time around Jerusalem under Suleiman the Magnificent of the Ottoman Empire. Today those walls define the old city, which since the 19th century has been divided into four quarters, the Armenian, Christian, Jewish, and Muslim quarters. The old city became a World Heritage Site in 1981, and is on the list of World Heritage in Danger. Since 1860, Jerusalem has grown far beyond the old city's boundaries. In 2022, Jerusalem had a population of some 971,800 residents, of which almost 60% were Jews and almost 40% Palestinians. In 2020, the population was 951,100, of which Jews comprised 570,100, 59.9%, Muslims 353,800, 37.2%, Christian 16,300, 1.7%, and 10,800 unclassified, 1.1%. According to the Hebrew Bible, King David conquered the city from the Jebusites and established it as the capital of the United Kingdom of Israel, and his son, King Solomon, commissioned the building of the first temple. Modern scholars argue that Jews branched out of the Canaanite peoples and culture through the development of a distinct monolatrous, and later monotheistic, religion centered on El Yahweh. These foundational events, straddling the dawn of the first millennium BCE, assumed central symbolic importance for the Jewish people. The sobriquet of Holy City, Hebrew, Romanized, Ir HaKodesh, was probably attached to Jerusalem in post-exilic times. The holiness of Jerusalem in Christianity, conserved in the Greek translation of the Hebrew Bible, which Christians adopted as their own Old Testament, was reinforced by the New Testament account of Jesus' crucifixion and resurrection there. In Sunni Islam, Jerusalem is the third holiest city, after Mecca and Medina. The city was the first Qibla, the standard direction for Muslim prayers, Salah, and in Islamic tradition, Muhammad made his night journey there in 621, ascending to heaven where he speaks to God, according to the Quran. As a result, despite having an area of only 0.9 square kilometers, 3.8 square miles, the old city is home to many sites of seminal religious importance, among them the Temple Mount with its Western Wall, Dome of the Rock and Al-Aqsa Mosque, and the Church of the Holy Sepulchre. Today, the status of Jerusalem remains one of the core issues in the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. During the 1948 Arab-Israeli War, West Jerusalem was among the areas captured and later annexed by Israel while East Jerusalem, including the Old City, was captured and later annexed by Jordan. Israel captured East Jerusalem from Jordan during the 1967 Six-Day War and subsequently effectively annexed it into Jerusalem, together with additional surrounding territory. One of Israel's basic laws, the 1980 Jerusalem Law, refers to Jerusalem as the country's undivided capital. All branches of the Israeli government are located in Jerusalem, including the Knesset, Israel's parliament, the residences of the Prime Minister, Beit Agian, and President, Beit Hanasi, and the Supreme Court. The international community rejects the annexation as illegal and regards East Jerusalem as Palestinian territory occupied by Israel. The name, Jerusalem, is variously etymologized to mean, foundation, Semitic YRY, to found, to lay a cornerstone, of the pagan god Shalem. The god Shalem was thus the original tutelary deity of the Bronze Age city. Shalim or Shalem was the name of the god of dusk in the Canaanite religion, whose name is based on the same root SLM from which the Hebrew word for, peace, is derived, Shalom in Hebrew, cognate with Arabic Salam. 
The name thus offered itself to etymologization such as, the city of peace, abode of peace, dwelling of peace, founded in safety, or, vision of peace, in some Christian authors. The ending, I am indicates the duel, thus leading to the suggestion that the name Yerushalayim refers to the fact that the city initially sat on two hills. The execration texts of the Middle Kingdom of Egypt, c. 19th century BCE, which refer to a city called RWLMM or WMM, variously transcribed as Rusalamum or Yerusalemum, may indicate Jerusalem. Alternatively, the Amarna letters of Abdihiba, 1330s BCE, which reference in Jerusalem, may be the earliest mention of the city. The form Yerushalem or Yerushalayim first appears in the Bible, in the book of Joshua. According to a Midrash, the name is a combination of two names united by God, Yair, the abiding place, the name given by Abraham to the place where he planned to sacrifice his son, and Shalem, place of peace, the name given by high priest Shem. One of the earliest extra-biblical Hebrew writing of the word Jerusalem is dated to the 6th or 7th century BCE and was discovered in Kerbet Beit Lay near Beit Gavrin in 1961. The inscription states, I am Yahweh thy God, I will accept the cities of Judah and I will redeem Jerusalem, or as other scholars suggest, Yahweh is the God of the whole earth. The mountains of Judah belong to him, to the God of Jerusalem. An older example on papyrus is known from the previous century. Close up of the Kerbet Bite Lay inscription, showing the earliest extra-biblical Hebrew writing of the word Jerusalem, dated to the 7th or 6th century BCE. In extra-biblical inscriptions, the earliest known example of the I am ending was discovered on a column about three kilometers west of ancient Jerusalem, dated to the 1st century BCE. An ancient settlement of Jerusalem, founded as early as the Bronze Age on the hill above the Gion Spring, was, according to the Bible, named Jebus. Called the Fortress of Zion, Metzedat Zion, it was renamed as the City of David, and was known by this name in antiquity. Another name, Zion, initially referred to a distinct part of the city, but later came to signify the city as a whole, and afterwards to represent the whole biblical land of Israel. In Greek and Latin, the city's name was transliterated Hierosolima, Greek, Epsilon Rho Omicron Sigma Lambda Upsilon Mu Alpha, in Greek Hieros, Epsilon Rho, means holy, although the city was renamed Elia Capitolina for part of the Roman period of its history. The Aramaic Apocryphon of Genesis of the Dead Sea Scrolls, 1 Capgen 22:13, equates Jerusalem with the earlier Salem, said to be the kingdom of Melchizedek in Genesis 14. Other early Hebrew sources, early Christian renderings of the verse and Targumim, however, put Salem in northern Israel near Shechem, Sichem, now Nablus, a city of some importance in early sacred Hebrew writing. Possibly the redactor of the Apocryphon of Genesis wanted to dissociate Melchizedek from the area of Shechem, which at the time was in possession of the Samaritans. However that may be, later rabbinic sources also equate Salem with Jerusalem, mainly to link Melchizedek to later temple traditions. In Arabic, Jerusalem is most commonly known as al quds transliterated as Al-Quds and meaning, the holy, or, the holy sanctuary, cognate with Hebrew, Romanized, Hakodesh. The name is possibly a shortened form of Medina al Qudsi Madinat al Quds, City of the Holy Sanctuary, after the Hebrew nickname with the same meaning, Ir Hakodesh. The Q is pronounced either with a voiceless uvular plosive, as in Classical Arabic, or with a glottal stop as in Levantine Arabic. Official Israeli government policy mandates that Urushalima, transliterated as Jerusalem, which is the cognate of the Hebrew and English names, be used as the Arabic language name for the city in conjunction with al Qudsu. Palestinian Arab families who hail from the city are often called Qudsi or Makdisi, while Palestinian Muslim Jerusalemites may use these terms as a demonym. Given the city's central position in both Jewish nationalism, Zionism, and Palestinian nationalism, the selectivity required to summarize some 5,000 years of inhabited history is often influenced by ideological bias or background. Israeli or Jewish nationalists claim a right to the city based on Jewish indigeneity to the land, particularly their origins in and descent from the Israelites, for whom Jerusalem is their capital, and their yearning for return. In contrast, Palestinian nationalists claim the right to the city based on modern Palestinians' long-standing presence and descent from many different peoples who have settled or lived in the region over the centuries. Both sides claim the history of the city has been politicized by the other in order to strengthen their relative claims to the city, and that this is borne out by the different focuses the different writers place on the various events and eras in the city's history. The first archaeological evidence of human presence in the area comes in the form of flints dated to between 600 and 700 years ago, with ceramic remains appearing during the Chalcolithic period, and the first signs of permanent settlement appearing in the early Bronze Age in 300 to 2800 BCE. 
The earliest evidence of city fortifications appear in the mid to late Bronze Age and could date to around the 18th century BCE. By around 1550 to 1200 BCE, Jerusalem was the capital of an Egyptian vassal city-state, a modest settlement governing a few outlying villages and pastoral areas, with a small Egyptian garrison and ruled by appointees such as King Abdiheba. At the time of Seti I, R. 1290 to 1279 BCE, and Ramesses II, R. 1279 to 1213 BCE, major construction took place as prosperity increased. The city's inhabitants at this time were Canaanites, who are believed by scholars to have evolved into the Israelites via the development of a distinct Yahweh-centric monotheistic belief system. Archaeological remains from the ancient Israelite period include the Siloam Tunnel, an aqueduct built by Judaite King Hezekiah and once containing an ancient Hebrew inscription, known as the Siloam Inscription, the so-called Broad Wall, a defensive fortification built in the 8th century BCE, also by Hezekiah the Silwan Necropolis, 9th to 7th C BCE, with the monolith of Silwan and the tomb of the royal steward, which were decorated with monumental Hebrew inscriptions, and the so-called Israelite tower, remnants of ancient fortifications, built from large, sturdy rocks with carved cornerstones. A huge water reservoir dating from this period was discovered in 2012 near Robinson's Arch, indicating the existence of a densely built-up quarter across the area west of the Temple Mount during the Kingdom of Judah. When the Assyrians conquered the Kingdom of Israel in 722 BCE, Jerusalem was strengthened by a great influx of refugees from the Northern Kingdom. When Hezekiah ruled, Jerusalem had no fewer than 25,000 inhabitants and covered 25 acres, 10 hectares. In 587 to 586 BCE, Nebuchadnezzar II of the Neo-Babylonian Empire conquered Jerusalem after a prolonged siege, and then systematically destroyed the city, including Solomon's Temple. The Kingdom of Judah was abolished and many were exiled to Babylon. These events mark the end of the First Temple period. This period, when Canaan formed part of the Egyptian Empire, corresponds in biblical accounts to Joshua's invasion, but almost all scholars agree that the Book of Joshua holds little historical value for early Israel. In the Bible, Jerusalem is defined as lying within territory allocated to the tribe of Benjamin though still inhabited by Jebusites. David is said to have conquered these in the siege of Jebus, and transferred his capital from Hebron to Jerusalem which then became the capital of a united kingdom of Israel, and one of its several religious centers. The choice was perhaps dictated by the fact that Jerusalem did not form part of Israel's tribal system, and was thus suited to serve as the center of its confederation. Opinion is divided over whether the so-called large stone structure and the nearby stepped stone structure may be identified with King David's palace, or dates to a later period. According to the Bible, King David reigned for 40 years and was succeeded by his son Solomon, who built the Holy Temple on Mount Moriah. Solomon's temple, later known as the First Temple, went on to play a pivotal role in Jewish religion as the repository of the Ark of the Covenant. On Solomon's death, ten of the northern tribes of Israel broke with the united monarchy to form their own nation, with its kings, prophets, priests, traditions relating to religion, capitals and temples in northern Israel. The southern tribes, together with the Aaronid priesthood, remained in Jerusalem, with the city becoming the capital of the Kingdom of Judah. In 538 BCE, the Achaemenid king Cyrus the Great invited the Jews of Babylon to return to Judah to rebuild the temple. Construction of the second temple was completed in 516 BCE, during the reign of Darius the Great, 70 years after the destruction of the first temple. Sometime soon after 485 BCE Jerusalem was besieged, conquered and largely destroyed by a coalition of neighboring states. In about 445 BCE, King Artaxerxes I of Persia issued a decree allowing the city, including its walls, to be rebuilt. Jerusalem resumed its role as capital of Judah and center of Jewish worship. Many Jewish tombs from the Second Temple period have been unearthed in Jerusalem. One example, discovered north of the Old City, contains human remains in a 1st century CE ossuary decorated with the Aramaic inscription, Simon the Temple Builder. The tomb of Abba, also located north of the Old City, bears an Aramaic inscription with Paleo-Hebrew letters reading, I, Abba, son of the priest Elise, A.R., son of Aaron the High, priest, Abba, the oppressed and the persecuted, who was born in Jerusalem, and went into exile into Babylonia and brought, back to Jerusalem, Mattati, Ah, son of Judd, Ah, and buried him in a cave which I bought by deed. The tomb of B'nai Hezer located in Kidron Valley is decorated by monumental Doric columns and Hebrew inscription, identifying it as the burial site of Second Temple priests. The tombs of the Sanhedrin, an underground complex of 63 rock-cut tombs, is located in a public park in the northern Jerusalem neighborhood of Sanhedria. 
These tombs, probably reserved for members of the Sanhedrin and inscribed by ancient Hebrew and Aramaic writings, are dated to between 100 BCE and 100 CE. When Alexander the Great conquered the Achaemenid Empire, Jerusalem and Judea came under Macedonian control, eventually falling to the Ptolemaic dynasty under Ptolemy I. In 198 BCE, Ptolemy v. Epiphanes lost Jerusalem and Judea to the Seleucids under Antiochus III. The Seleucid attempt to recast Jerusalem as a Hellenized city-state came to a head in 168 BCE with the successful Maccabean revolt of Metathius and his five sons against Antiochus IV Epiphanes, and their establishment of the Hasmonean Kingdom in 152 BCE with Jerusalem as its capital. In 63 BCE, Pompey the Great intervened in a struggle for the Hasmonean throne and captured Jerusalem, extending the influence of the Roman Republic over Judea. Following a short invasion by Parthians, backing the rival Hasmonean rulers, Judea became a scene of struggle between pro-Roman and pro-Parthian forces, eventually leading to the emergence of an Edomite named Herod. As Rome became stronger, it installed Herod as a client king of the Jews. Herod the Great, as he was known, devoted himself to developing and beautifying the city. He built walls, towers and palaces, and expanded the Temple Mount, buttressing the courtyard with blocks of stone weighing up to 100 tons. Under Herod, the area of the Temple Mount doubled in size. Shortly after Herod's death, in 6 CE Judea came under direct Roman rule as the Iudea province, although the Herodian dynasty through Agrippa II remained client kings of neighboring territories until 96 CE. Roman rule over Jerusalem and Judea was challenged in the First Jewish-Roman War, 66-73 CE, which ended with a Roman victory. Early on, the city was devastated by a brutal civil war between several Jewish factions fighting for control of the city. In 70 CE, the Romans destroyed Jerusalem and the Second Temple. The contemporary Jewish historian Josephus wrote that the city was so thoroughly razed to the ground by those that demolished it to its foundations, that nothing was left that could ever persuade visitors that it had once been a place of habitation. Of the 600,000, Tacitus, or 1 million, Josephus, Jews of Jerusalem, all of them either died of starvation, were killed or were sold into slavery. Roman rule was again challenged during the Bar Kokhba revolt, beginning in 132 CE and suppressed by the Romans in 135 CE. More recent research indicates that the Romans had founded Elia Capitolina before the outbreak of the revolt, and found no evidence for Bar Kokhba ever managing to hold the city. Jerusalem reached a peak in size and population at the end of the Second Temple period, when the city covered 2 km 2, 3 4 square miles, and had a population of 200,000. Following the Bar Kokhba revolt, Emperor Hadrian combined Ayudea province with neighboring provinces under the new name of Syria Palestina, replacing the name of Judea. The city was renamed Elia Capitolina, and rebuilt it in the style of a typical Roman town. Jews were prohibited from entering the city on pain of death, except for one day each year, during the holiday of Tisha B'Av. Taken together, these measures, which also affected Jewish Christians, essentially, secularized, the city. Historical sources and archaeological evidence indicate that the rebuilt city was now inhabited by veterans of the Roman military and immigrants from the western parts of the empire. The ban against Jews was maintained until the 7th century, though Christians would soon be granted an exemption. During the 4th century, the Roman Emperor Constantine I ordered the construction of Christian holy sites in the city, including the Church of the Holy Sepulchre. Burial remains from the Byzantine period are exclusively Christian, suggesting that the population of Jerusalem in Byzantine times probably consisted only of Christians. In the 5th century, the eastern continuation of the Roman Empire, ruled from the recently renamed Constantinople, maintained control of the city. Within the span of a few decades, Jerusalem shifted from Byzantine to Persian rule, then back to Roman Byzantine dominion. Following Sassanid Khosrau II's early 7th century push through Syria, his generals Sharbaraz and Shaheen attacked Jerusalem, Persian, Dej Haug, aided by the Jews of Palestina Prima, who had risen up against the Byzantines. Kindly subscribe to this channel and share this video with your friends and families. In the siege of Jerusalem of 614, after 21 days of relentless siege warfare, Jerusalem was captured. Byzantine chronicles relate that the Sassanids and Jews slaughtered tens of thousands of Christians in the city, many at the Mamila Pool, and destroyed their monuments and churches, including the Church of the Holy Sepulchre. This episode has been the subject of much debate between historians. The conquered city would remain in Sassanid hands for some 15 years until the Byzantine Emperor Heraclius reconquered it in 629. This analysis is to be continued in another video. See you in the next one.